Imagine, if you will, a baby born to Orwell and Papers, Please. And that baby being called Scott McGilfrey. It is at that point you would have a fairly accurate description of Beholder. Dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Kruschwitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the elite official rank, Ministry of Allocation. So this is Beholder, essentially a point-and-clickish kind of game, where we are the landlord of this establishment and we are keeping eyes on the guests who may be doing nefarious things. We'll just get through this little bit of a uh, tutorial here. We can skip most of it as far as I know. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new position. What's going on? We're merely driving pests out of the house. It is of no concern of you. Agree. As you wish. Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest tasks. If a person occupying an important position can't cope with a simple task, there is only one outcome. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenants do is your business. And the word everything means? The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow their every step and document any suspicious activity. That is, if you want to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. If you're going to be a perfect beholder, document hobbies, interests, and even conversations. How can I do this? Observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start at the beginning. Have you ever managed an apartment building before, Carl? Do you need my help? I'm going to decline your help. Thank you, sir. I've, I'm a natural at spying on people. It's all good. That's why I got kicked out of college. Here's your journal. It's located on the right side of the screen. Uh, let's come back to surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in your house to simplify your work. According to our documentation, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, which is to the right of this room. So we can move the camera around to the right. Right now we can already see this basement area. But we can go to the desk and we can click the search function. We will waddle our penguin butt over there. They kind of look like penguins. And we are going to take the cameras. Excellent. Bearing in mind, I did skip the tutorial. <laughs> I, I, it's the first time I skipped the tutorial, to be honest. And it's kind of just doing the tutorials. 
Whoa, I don't really understand. Anyway, we're going to follow this guy to the dining room. We can double click and we just sprint there. And we are going to install a camera in uh, fire alert device. Yep. There we go. And we'll go talk to Billy Joe Gino Ooh, here. <laughs> You're doing fine. Here's your first reward. 300 bucks and a hundred uh, reputation-y kind of things. Spend your money on the things you need. You'll find them at the shop. You receive surveillance cameras as you earn reputation points. That's for reputation points. Reputation points serve your standing with the public. You receive them for completing tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade people to, around you to do what you want them to do. Unfortunately, I have an issue to deal with at the Ministry. However, you can call me anytime from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer the phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people, and completing the orders of the Ministry is our bread and butter. It is also our water and air. Here's the main thing. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't handle things. We're hoping you'll do better. Just tell me how. First of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence. The police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work well. The Ministry can turn a blind eye to a forgery and a blackmail if they help you achieve your goal. I'll do my best. I like your enthusiasm, but be slow to call our department. You can always ask your wise tutor for advice. One last instruction. The key I gave you opens every door in the building. Make sure your tenants leave their apartment before you enter it. Many citizens still think their private life is their own business. Let it be so. Now get to work. Alright, goodbye buddy. So, we have a daughter, we have a wife, uh, we have a son, but he seems to have disappeared like teenagers tend to do. We are going to... Okay, our daughter's talking. We are going to call the Ministry. Is that is our task? There is a speed up button up here. I wish there was a keyboard sh shortcut for it. I've never been able to find one, which is really sad. Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. Hello, Carl! You've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? I am ready for a task. Establish surveillance in apartment 2. Jacob Manischek lives there. You can always buy cameras you need at the state shop. Only enter a tenant's apartment when they're not home. And be careful. Alright, so we have to... Search apartment number 2, install cameras in apartment number 2, and gather data on Jacob Man Manischek. We're going to run on over to here. Uh, I'm going to disinstall this camera to save a little bit of cash. Uh, we only need to install one, so we'll keep one. Who are you? You're Mark Rannick. What do you want from the archivist? Get acquainted. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new building manager of this building. Mark Rannick is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder! You need this more than me. Ask about the wife. Rosa works in the cafeteria. Always in the kitchen. She loves baking buns and cake so much. She does it for a living. I wish she didn't smell like cabbage. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. I wish you didn't smell like cabbage either. Uh, that's our wife there, Anna. Uh, we are going to go upstairs to apartment number two. And we're just going to have a little peeksy through the door. Nobody seems to be home. Fantastic. So, we're going to unlock the door. Uh, that's, that's, that's a person we don't need to worry about. Alright, let's search the apartment. Nobody else seems to mind if you're searching somebody else's apartment. Ooh, a deck of cards and dice. He likes to gamble. So, stuff in red. That's kind of a thing that we get, that's information we get on somebody. Jacob Manchik here, information gathered, he likes to gamble. Uh, if we go back 
here, uh, we can see that we in apartment three, we've gathered information on Rosa Rannick. She likes to cook, just from the conversation with our friend there. So we will be gathering information on people as things go by. We're also going to install a security camera here. Um, pro tip, there's nothing else in this actual building, in, the, in this apartment. We're going to leave. Um, we are going to... We're going to... We're going to knock on apartment number one. Just to introduce ourselves. We are the new landlord after all. It's good to get to know our tenants. He's going to slowly walk over there. Normally we do have a time limit for... Uh, missions. Uh, this one we don't seem to have a time limit. Hello! Get acquainted. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Schimmer. You'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager had already turned it into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Ask about the apartment. Did the house belong to you? That's right. I used to it used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children, but it was converted into a resident hall instead. This isn't so bad. You haven't seen the living quarters on level D. Oh, level D. You're right. Our situation could be worse. At least we're free. One can play chess at the li at liberty. This is expensive. So we know that Klausy boy here likes to play chess. So if we go through the rest of our notebook here, this is our missions. These are government directives. So right now, as of the 1st September 1984, it is illegal to harbor criminals or hide their actions. And it is illegal, or it is prohibited to produce political propaganda. Uh, this is uh, something else which I can't really remember right now, so whatever. Who are you? Oh, you're Jacob Manchik. What do you want? Get acquainted. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. Da, 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 da. Did I win a competition called Who Gives a Damn About the New Manager? Yes, you did, sir. Congratulations. I didn't care about you and your deals. Okay, well. S stuff off. Oh, he's still talking. Watch yourself. It's not as though nothing bad can happen to your family. Oh, that's ominous. Alright. Um, I don't think there's any mail right now, but we'll go check the mailbox anyway. Oh, daily news. The Ministry of Care would like everyone to use the national language. We are one nation and should speak one language, the Minister says. Where is the star quote? Ministry officials say these measures will increase public safety, making our country less vulnerable to spies and turncoats. The lat latter include everyone who stores foreign literature and speaks a foreign language. Uh, interesting, that sounds like a new directive could be coming along. Uh, who are you? Mark Rannick. Did I speak to you already? What do you want from the archivist? Yes, I did speak to you. Uh, we're going away. Go away. Go ahead. Uh, but we do see that our friend here is looking at drugs right now. New government directive. As of the year, or as of September 1st, all apples must be destroyed. It's illegal to store and consume them. Alright, in apartment number two... Hmm, I did see him doing drugs, but I didn't get the, uh, the feed on the camera. Apparently I forgot how to do that. Hey, let's go speak to Rosa. Also, it says it gives us an apartment on the ground floor. We seem to be in the basement, so I don't really understand. Good afternoon! Get wanted. Hello, miss. Hello, oh, hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Carl. I'm the new building manager. Da, 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 da. My name is Rose Rannick. It's nice to meet you. You must have met my naughty husband. We have a son, too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. I ask about your husband. Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his in the company of his fishing rod. Ooh. I'm gonna ask about your son too. Our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. Let me know if you have any problems. So one other thing we can do. 
is search our own apartment. See if our family is up to any any no good. Toothbrush. Hmm. Interesting. Why would you store a toothbrush in the TV? Who knows? So wander on over to here. Towel, watch, and a couple of wallets. Anyway, we have to call the ministry here, so we're going to give the ministry a little ring on the phone. Dial the number. Report a task to the ministry. Ministry of order. Congratulations, your first task was successful. You are awarded $500 and 50 reputation points. According to our sources, Jacob Manchek is violating state directives. Spy on him using a surveillance camera. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gather to your report. New government directive received. The production of drugs is prohibited. So, that drugs we saw him doing earlier, he now cannot do it. We've also received a message that's run up to the mailbox. You can't double click the little icon actions, but you can double click the ground to run. Son of the miners trade union leader was found unconscious after criminals reportedly pumped him full of drugs. He's being treated at a rehabilitation hospital. The Minister of Order advises citizens to be alert and interfere with any attempts to manufacture and spread drugs. Remember, your child could be next. So the game dongs occasionally. I'm not entirely sure why it does that, to be honest, but whatever. So we are essentially waiting right now until Jacob does something illegal. Right now he's just doing some tobacco. But we'll add it to the to the list. We'll just keep an eye on him here. Let's go have a talk to Nathan Keller over here. My compliments. Ah, this is the guy we can trade with. So he sells things like whiskey and chocolate. Possibly prohibited items in the world, but uh, yes, he sells those kind of things. Patrick Stein, our son, we'll go have a gander and talk to him there. <gasps> Drugs! Dun dun dun! Yes, father? Learn what happened. Why are you wandering around the house, Patrick? It's okay. Mm, tell me what happened. That filthy magic swore at me. He decided I was standing near his door. I was tying my shoes near the flower. He said he'd blow my head off if he ever saw me near his house door again. Don't worry, I'll bring him to justice. He won't touch you. Oh, we already did that. Da -da 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 -da. Talk about work. I don't like your new job, father. Your boss is nasty. Do you like eating good food and studying at the university? Wearing new clothes? Maybe you'll support us then. I'll never take... I'll try to find a job. I'll study and work at the same time. I hope so. I hate the mines, father. I'd rather die than work as a slave. Dun dun dun. Alright. Let's have a quick search at the plant, just to be on the safe side. Okay, nothing there. Alright, so we have uh, some information on our good friend Jacob here. Uh, evidence collected, he does have drugs. So. We are going to run down to our office here. And we are going to make a report. We're going to make a report on Jacob. Uh, write a report. Mr. Jacob Manchik, living in apartment number two. Violated directive. Bum, bum, bum. 6040. Manufacture of drugs. From that date. Evidence found in the apartment. Boom. Uh, also, uh, should we include that? Uh, never mind. We're, that'll, that'll probably be enough. We've got a report written for him there. We're going to leave the workplace. And then I believe we need to call the ministry. Or not. I think. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Shh. There's music happening upstairs. Yep, the coppers are here. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and 
And that is a police van right in the way. Or a bus, actually. That is how you take care of nasty tenants. We'll have none of your kind in here, Jacob. None of your kind in here. <laughs>